If these walls could talk, if this ice had a voice, I'd stay up for days listening to it tell me stories. It would say it hasn't gone unscathed. The stick marks, the skate stops, and the heaviness of the Zamboni have definitely made it age. I wonder how many kids have accidentally kissed its surface learning to skate, only to have their parents pick them up, brush off the snow, and tell them not to give up. Like a child, it probably jumps for joy when the rink lights turn on, knowing someone loves it and wants to use it, but cries when the lights go out as everyone goes home. Stories are made here. We just have to listen. My name is Gwen Davis. They call me Cork. It's my nickname. I was born here in 1928 in Alameda, and I've stayed here all my life. And I've seen a lot of hockey, and I saw the town grow up. Casey Hall. We moved here in 2003, and it wasn't long after moving to Alameda that we figured out that the rink was the heart of this community. In 2000, we had an opportunity to transfer to Southeast Saskatchewan with work. Upon looking at the other communities in the area, we decided that Alameda was where we wanted to make, to call home. Why did we choose Alameda? Small town, lots of atmosphere, great school, and the rink. A true rink backs its community and documents all the action up close. No drones necessary. Long strides, Bentley! Long strides! It calls out to its team, the rink rats and the aces, and says, you belong. I believe in you, and I will push you to get better. Some seasons, the rink sees championships won, but it always helps those kids make the best memories they will keep for a lifetime. As our kids grew up in the community we spent at least four nights a week at the rink and most weekends and every night that we were here you either had a Saturday morning breakfast or a Monday night supper or a Friday night appetizer night so we had something to watch and something to eat while you were here enjoying our rink. Be right here and I have a little head strap because uh, a couple of games before that a guy broke his stick over my head so they wore this. In those days you never had any shin pads, no helmets, no mess. Our rink knows we will never give up on it, but it is fading fast. Sure, we need some new viewing glass and the ceiling leaks, but those are cosmetic. Our biggest concerns are the boards and the cement. Without that, we don't have a rink. It already feels the pain of having to turn away our contact hockey players because the boards aren't meeting safety standards anymore. We pound them down every year, but this year they need to be replaced. Everything that we would use the $100,000 for is a need, not a want. It's not an extra ice surface. It's not cosmetically making it great for everybody to watch. It's making it great for our players to play. It's making it safe for them to Yes, play. Uh, we had uh, quite a few hockey players in Alameda that were uh, led on with their uh, life in the hockey. And one was uh, Trenton Whitfield. 1996 to 97, it was the, uh, the World Cup was on and Trent got chosen to go to the World Cup and they won the gold medal on that team. There's our cement. Our wonderful lines sitting on the cement. Thank goodness we have great volunteers. They come out every season and they roll out the lines, they flood them, they make sure that that surface is perfect for our kids to play on. We appreciate them so much. I hope they realize. If we didn't have a rink here, uh, we would have to begin traveling to towns surrounding us for practices every week. As well as, once you start traveling for practices, your games go away and wider and we're traveling more and farther for games. Uh, if, if we could host a preseason NHL game, I think it would be pretty overwhelming and exciting. We have our entire community comes out just for an initiation game or a viewing game or our season finale for our skating. So 
if there is a there would definitely be a commitment to, it would just be incredible um if we could host an nhl preseason hockey game um how would that benefit our community i would have to see i would watch the kids the entire time they would be so ecstatic um, not only meeting nhl players but also uh being encouraged and showing what hard work does um, we're blessed with the coaches in this community. The coaches are very good in this community. If these kids want to go far, they could.